Hello everybody, this is Ivan and um, I've been working on cars since uh, early 80s professionally and this is my wife's car GL 2008 GL 320 CDI with the dreaded OM 642 and um, dealing with the dreaded uh, oil suction into the turbo um, I bear with me I'm not a professional I don't do YouTube stuff this is on my phone not even a GoPro but the information is the what is important so um, I see so much misconception and uh, wrong approaches on dealing with this, bypassing, doing all kinds of weird stuff that does not fix anything. It just shoves the problem somewhere down the line, somewhere else. So this is the cure. Uh, I experimented with it for a couple of years now, I tried different things, did the catch can, oil catch can, did different things, but um, it's not stopping it because the suction is too strong. So I put the catch can, this is a man, uh, Provent 200 it's got the um, in and out it's got like a filter inside um, it's got a whole bunch of nice things and the um, the valve that you see on the bottom this guy that is on the um, exhaust side of the catch can so if it plugs up it can basically draw air through there so it doesn't doesn't cause any vacuum issues and blowing stuff and um, I've done that, routing it back in front of the turbo, but the suction is just too strong. I think Mercedes engineers tried very hard to eliminate the issue, but um, uh, all the hard work on a cam uh, centrifugal separator was ruined by the fact that they routed it into the turbo just less, less than six inches from the valve, from the PCV valve. So that does not help. So. I've, like I said, I've tried different things, but the suction is just too strong if you plug it back in in the same place, original place. So what I did at this point was route the oil catch can a little bit differently from the PCV valve. I went and plumbed it into the, um, the feed of the passenger side air filter housing. And basically doing that, uh, being in front of the air filter, it reduced the vacuum between the filter and the turbo drastically. And because it's one out of the two, air filters and being in front of it, the suction is actually now way less than even 50%. It's probably down to like 30%. So it uh, pulls the fumes, but it doesn't draw oil. And right now the only issue I had was basically sucking the oil that is still accumulated inside the, um, the uh, oil cooler. But, sorry about the noise, doing this at home, not in a shop. And, uh, it's sucking the oil that is accumulated in the oil cooler. So it's been about two weeks since I've done the oil cooler seals and I cleaned the intake. I'll put some pictures in the, um, in the below in the description and you'll see how bad the stuff gets. I thought it's a nightmare that, you know, to deal with, but actually it's a blessing in disguise because I got to clean it. And now the car gained uh, two miles per gallon since I've done it just because it's breathing better. Uh, my wife commutes about 80 miles a day. Uh, she does over 550 miles per tank. Um, she gets up to 21 miles per gallon or so doing that through the worst stop and go properly in the nation. And now it's uh, approaching 24, which is the advertised value on a stop and go drives. Imagine what we'll do on open freeway at about 70 miles an hour. A hell of a lot better than that. So all these problems with the oil it's kind of a band-aid. We're applying a band-aid and uh, we're not dealing with the root cause. So you gotta go deep enough to root cause, but of course we can't re-engineer the, the cam separator thing, but we can do the next best thing. Um, there is a piece called connector. It basically, that's what PCV valve sits on it. And it's right here on the back, right there. It bolts right there above the, um, the cat and uh, the flange of the turbo two bolts e10 very easy to get to as long as you take this piece off which is something that everybody ignores even when they're changing air filters please remove them 10 millimeter bolts very easy on both sides so you don't do stuff like this whoever was doing this before i owned the car was a butcher so to start dealing with your oiling problem you need to go and fix it as far high up to the source as possible and this is the solution this is the part it's called connector that I showed you up there where it's mounted and this is it that's the seal inside the which the camshaft actually spins from the heat and from the wear 
the oil starts seeping and the turbo is acting like a big vacuum cleaner just sucks it up so this is what the seal looks like now i don't know if this thing was ever changed before or is this the original one that came with the car the car is now quite a few years old and it's got 140,000 miles and this seal is hard as a rock it's no longer pliable so this part was $35 directly from a dealer online $50 shipped to me from Kansas to California and it takes literally five minutes to replace you do have to get the um, air box loosened up and moved out of the way it helps you a great deal to do that to remove the Y the plastic Y and that's a story of its own that we'll address shortly and once you get to that you can just remove it easily it might you might have to take two to four E10 or loosen up two to four E10s from the valve cover because this um, connector is pinched between the head and the valve cover it sits in between them okay? so just replace this part it's as simple as that and retorque the valve cover and everything else and you're golden it will stop the flow of oil at least for a while and consider this piece a maintenance item just like your air filters or, or you know the uh, differential pressure sensor under the car it should just be changed as a precaution maybe every couple of years depends on how many miles you drive but stopping your oil at the source it helps quite a few things it helps the uh, prevention of failure of the uh, swirl flap motor the swirl flaps uh, you know getting stuck with all the sludge and everything I mean literally my air passages were reduced on the walls by almost quarter inch of tar so the breeding was restricted needless to say quite a bit so change this piece that's the part number and I'll leave it in the description just as well with the link from where I got it from change this part and reroute your PCV even without the oil catch can I think you can just go straight with the hose from the PCV down to this uh, air intake tube by the dipstick it's easily removable you just push it back with a harmonica here and pull it out toward the radiator and pull it out drill a hole in it and tap the um, the hose there and I'll leave the description for the hose also in the comments because this is oil resistant one inch diameter inner diameter hose you can go just locally and source that the stores do not carry it so that's the uh, that's the fix as simple as that for the oiling and um, the next problem that I had to deal with is the the usual shattered flange for the uh, mass airflow sensor Y tube and as you can tell I had to trim it and um, go with the coupling so I experimented I went with a 70 millimeter blow-off valve T that I got on eBay for seven dollars six dollars something like that and it works great but you, as you can tell I was still plumbing the um, the dreaded uh, PCV valve in there but uh, I've, like I said I've done the the reroute for at least two weeks now doing all the oil cleaning with the um, gaskets for the oil cooler but it's still pulling the oil that is accumulated in the, in the um, uh, intercooler so that was my fix for a while and it worked great it's totally easy 70 millimeters you can get it on eBay for seven dollars but that's not the fix because you're still plumbing the uh, PCV in there so the simple fix is actually to just go to your local car parts store and pick up one of these yep that's it less than ten dollars it's a little bit large on the Y side but you can you know once you tighten the clamp it will be perfectly sealed so my suggestion is put everything loosely on it shove it back in there into the intake and uh, attach the air boxes everything properly to the to the Y line everything up and then torque the clamp side on the turbo flange first and then after that when everything is perfectly lined up center your um, clamp over this bigger ridge part and not over this but you know it will still hold but better over this and use your common sense on how much to torque it to seal perfectly without over torquing it and uh, you bypass the PCV thing altogether and just plug it like I said plug it here it will reduce your suction air suction by 
probably 30%. And no more oil. Deal with it the right way. And again, I'm not a professional videographer or YouTube professional. I don't make a living doing this, but I'm just getting tired of seeing all the wrong solutions. So do it, guys. I hope this helps somebody. Please let me know if you do if it does.